Welcome everyone. Let's take a few moments just to settle in. Oh yeah, find a comfortable seat with a long, tall spine. Maybe the legs are crossed, maybe not. Hands can rest in the lap or on the knees as we take a few moments just to breathe. Just bringing all that awareness to your breath. Bringing it deeper and deeper. Maybe the eyes close as we just start to let go. Letting go of all that we had to do to get here. Letting go of all that we have to do after. Hearing the birds sing and bringing that awareness to the present moment. And let's bring in three of the biggest breaths that you can do. Inhaling through the nose and let it go with a sigh. Two more just like that. Bringing that breath back to a natural rhythm. Bringing a little movement by lifting the arms with the inhale. Exhale, palms come together, hands down to the heart. Big breath in, arms go up. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more round. Bring those arms up one more time, and on this time we'll twist, bringing that left hand to the right knee, right hand goes behind the back. Inhale to get tall, exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale to get tall, exhale, twist a little deeper. Slowly well, coming back to center, inhale those arms, reach up. Exhale, twisting, right hand, left knee, left hand behind the back, inhale to get tall, exhale, twisting. Slowly bring it back to center. Bring the hands to the knees, elbows out wide. Inhale the chest forward through the bicep. Chin goes up towards the sky, putting that banana curve in the back. And then exhale, shoulder blades push behind you. Tuck the chin down in. Inhale, we roll forward. A little seated cat and cow. Big breath in, big exhale. Coming back to center. Find your way to your hands and knees. Inhaling that right hand up towards the sky. Exhale, twisting. Threading that needle under the armpit, the shoulder and the side of the head come down to the mat. Slowly coming back up. Reach that hand back up just like we came in. We come out. And then we'll switch sides. Inhale that left arm reaches up. Exhale. Thread the needle. Hey, Nina.
slowly sliding that hand and reaching back up. And then coming back down to hands and knees. And we'll bring in that cat and cow movement. Inhale, the rib cage pushes down, pushes through the heart, through the bicep. Chin goes up towards the sky. Putting that banana curve in the back and then exhale, shoulder blades push up towards the sky, chin tucks in, the shoulders and the hips are squeezing towards one another. This is our movement. It's called cat and cow pose. Coming back to neutral, bringing a little side stretch along the rib cage, looking back at your toes. On the other side, come back to center, reach that left leg back, and then across that leg, and then look back at that foot. Coming back to tabletop, reach that right leg back, and then reach across the left leg, look back at that foot. Feeling that stretch in the low back and the side. And then bring it back to center. Bring the big toes together. Sit back on those heels. Bring the forehead, chest, and chin down to the mat for child's pose. Just take a few breaths here. Let everything get heavy. And then slowly walk your hands towards the left corner of the mat, creating another little side stretch here. And then walk the hands to the right corner of the mat. Bring everything back to center. Bring the hips over the knees. Bring your chest and chin down towards the mat. So our hips are up high, but our chest and chin are down low for our puppy pose. Bringing that banana curve in the spine, feeling that stretch in the low back. And then continue that forward movement of bringing the hips down, elbows under the shoulders for our Sphinx pose. Elbows in the shape of an 11. And slightly lifting that belly button, maybe a centimeter off the mat. Still feeling that stretch in the low back. And bringing everything back through hands and knees. This time bring your big toes together, bring your knees together. Sit back on those heels for a child's pose with our knees together. Forehead comes down, maybe the hands reach back to the feet. Everything back up to our hands and knees. Tuck those toes. Raise those hips for our downward dog. Walking one heel down, bending opposite knees, and moving from side to side. Inhale to slightly bend your knees and elbows and walk your feet to meet your hands for a forward fold. 
grabbing opposite elbows. A little sway from side to side. Letting the inhale make room and the exhale allow you to get a little deeper. hands back to the earth. Walk over to the left side of your feet. Both hands. And walk those hands over to the right side. Coming back to center. The right hand reaches down in front of the face. Center on the top of the mat. Left arm reaches up. The right knee is bending. The left leg is straightening. And bring it back down. We'll switch sides. Bringing that hand down. Inhale to a half lift, so hands on the shins, flat back with the earth. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Big breaths here. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, root to rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Taking a few breaths here with relaxed shoulders, a long, tall spine. Eyes closed. And just taking it all in. The breeze. The birds. The light that comes through the eyelids. being grateful for this precious gift of life. Thank you. Inhale, the arms go up. Exhale, twist the arms, left hand out front, right hand goes back. We lower into a tiny squat here, inhale up. And twisting while we bring in that little squat. Moving with your breath. Last round on each side. Come all the way up, bring the hands down to the heart. One hand to the chest, one hand to the belly. Bring in some deep breath. It's okay to make some noise with that breath. One more big breath. Let it all go. Inhale the arms, reach up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, that right leg reaches back for a low lunge. That back heel is lifted, right hand reaches down, left hand reaches up for dragonfly. Big, big breath. See if you can extend that spine nice and long. Straight line from the wrist to the fingertips. And bring that top hand down to frame that foot. Inhale up to crescent pose. Exhale, hands reach behind you to interlace the fingers, reaching down and away from the hips. Open up that heart. Open up that gaze towards the sky. A little back bend here. And then release, bring those hands back up. 
Exhale, twist. If you'd like, you can bring that right hand down to that thigh here and help assist this little twist here. And then slowly bring the arms back up to center. Exhale, back down to that low lunge. Back foot comes forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, let it go. Come all the way up, hands above the head. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up. Bring in a diamond shape with a thumb and a finger. And then come back for a little back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left foot reaches back to low lunge. Right, left hand flat on the mat, right hand reaches up. Make that spine long, straight line from the fingertips all the way to the wrist. Big breaths. And then bring that hand down. Inhale, come up, crescent pose. Exhale, hands behind you. Interlace the fingers, reach down and away from the hips. Open up the heart, open up the gaze towards the sky. Little bitty back bend here. And then bring the hands back up. Exhale, twist the arms. Reach that left hand down to that right leg. Help that twist just a little bit. And then slowly bring the arms back up. Exhale, forward fold. Back foot comes forward. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Come all the way up. Hands come together and then down to the heart. Press the thumbs against the center of the chest. Let the shoulders relax away from the ears. Bring that spine long and tall. Stand proud, stand grateful, and breathe. The pose of confidence. Bring the hands down to the hips, palms facing forward. Confidence and power. Power and confidence. It's one of my favorite poses. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, right foot reaches back, low lunge. Walk to the long side of the mat. We're at a half lift, so our hands are under our shoulders. Take a big breath in. And then forward fold. Walk your hands through your feet. And then come back to that half lift. Right hand under the face. Left hand reaches up for a twist with wide legs this time. And then that top hand comes down. We'll switch sides. Top hand down. Bring the hands to the hips. Come all the way up. Take up as much room as you can. Toes pointed out. Hands reach up. Fingertips spread wide. Open up that heart and chest. Little back bend here. Exhale. Squat. Cactus the arms. Flex the bicep. 
Bring the hands to the knees. Inhale to straighten that spine. Exhale, right shoulder towards that left knee. So we're twisting here, digging into the hips, working to open that heart up towards the sky. And then come back up. Stay in that squat. Exhale, twisting to the opposite. Slowly come back to center. Get a little rock from side to side. And then come all the way up back to that five pointed star. Exhale, forward fold. Walking back up. Back foot comes forward. Half lift, or excuse me, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Come all the way up. Hands above the head. Hands down to the heart. Thumbs press against the chest. We close the eyes. We slow down the breath. We slow down the heart rate. And we remember that we are a miracle. Inhale, the arms reach. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. That left foot's going to go back this time. Walk the hands to the long side of the mat. Wide legs here. And then walk your hands forward for a wide leg down, down dog. Push the hips behind you. The chest and chin pushing down towards the floor. And then bringing those hands back under the shoulders. Now you can walk the hands towards that right leg, put a little side squat in there with one leg, straightening that left leg, and then walk the hands back over to that right side for a little side squat. Then back over. Feel free to pick your hands up, bringing them to the heart as we move from side to side. And then take it as low as you want to go. Moving nice and slow from side to side. And then eventually swaying all the way back up. Swing that back leg to the top of the mat. Big breath in here with the hands at the heart. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands come down, back to plank pose. Now, just generating a little bit of heat here. Straight line from the hips, excuse me, from the heels all the way to the back of the neck. here for about five breaths no big deal maybe bring in a little smile a little breath and then lower the knees lower the hips lower the chest stack the hands make a little pillow bring the heels up and wave them from side to side like windshield wipers.
Coming back to stillness, gently bring the feet down. Now we'll go for three rounds here. We're gonna intensify as the rounds go. So for round one, reach the hands back by the hips and we lift our chest and chin slightly off the mat. Our heels, excuse me, the tops of the feet, the knees, the thighs all stay on the mat. And we're lifting the chest and chin, hands, fingertips reaching back towards those heels behind you. One more big breath here. Lift up higher. Exhale. Stack the hands. Make a pillow. Come back down. Relax. Take a few breaths here to reset. getting ready for round two you can do the same exact thing we did in round one if you'd like to add a little bit more to it bring the hands back by the hips lift up that chest and chin this time lift the feet and knees off of the mat you can even interlace the fingers behind you On your next breath, see if you can lift a little bit higher. And then exhale, release, stack the hands. Rest the head, take a few breaths to reset. Slow down. Now for round three, you can do what we did in round one. You can do what we did in round two. If you'd like to go to round three, we'll bring that heel towards the back pocket, reach back, grabbing the outside edge of that foot, and then the other foot, and then we lift into that bow pose, working to bring our knees together, the knees reaching closer to one another. Another couple breaths. And then when you're ready, inhale to lift everything higher. And then release. Stack the hands, rest the head. Take a few breaths to reset. And then slowly bring your hands next to the rib cage and armpit and we inhale up to cobra pose so our thighs are on the ground our arms are extended our shoulders are down and neck and head is getting that turtle head out of its shell and maybe a little sway from side to side as we feel that stretch along the low back And then exhale, hands and knees. Walk your knees through your hands. Come to a seat, swing the legs around. Bringing the feet flat on the mat, knees are bent up, grab underneath the thighs or the knees and just start to play around with leaving the ground here. And then coming back to stillness, reach the left hand under that left leg, grab that right ankle, bring that foot over by the left foot, <laughs> bring that right foot over by the left hip. Now for me, I've got a knee injury, so I'm going to straighten this leg. This is option two. And I'm gonna bring this bent left leg inside my knee or outside that knee. I reach my left hand behind me, 
behind my low back, reach my right hand up into the sky. The two options here as we can hug that knee, wrapping that elbow around that knee and help with that twist. Or we can reach that hand up and then bring that elbow inside that knee. And we inhale to get tall. Exhale to twist. One more round. Slowly releasing. Uncross that leg, bend the knees, and then reach under that right leg, grab that left ankle, bring it over to the right hip. And then we can bring that leg outside or inside, whichever is more comfortable or uncomfortable. Who knows what you're looking for today? We'll reach that right hand behind the low back. Work to bring both hips down on the mat. Inhale that left arm reaches up. And remembering our options that we can either hug that knee to aid with that twist, or we can bring that elbow inside that knee and go deeper into that twist. Inhale to get tall. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Slowly twisting, unwinding, uncrossing the legs, and then slowly work your way down to your back. Hug those knees into the chest, a little rock from side to side. And then extending that left leg, right knee stays tucked into the chest. Bring the left hand on the outside of that right knee, twisting over that left side. Right hand reaches out wide. That's final twist. You can look in the opposite direction of your knee. Slowly bringing it back. Hug both knees into the chest. Into that opposite side. Right hand on the outside of that knee and then twisting over to the right. Left hand reaching out wide. Looking in the opposite direction of the knee. bringing everything back. Hug the knees into the chest one last time. And then letting everything fall to the mat for that final resting pose. Relax the shoulders, get that spine nice and straight. Letting the entire body get heavy. Before we completely let go, let's take three big breaths together and we can start by letting all of the air out now. And then a big breath in through the nose. And let it go with a sigh. Another big breath in. And let it go. Biggest breath of practice. And release. And continue to stay in this shavasana, this final resting pose. I'm going to sit up as I talk through a small little meditation. we start to relax and let go, diving deep into our practice, taking that one step inward. And using the imagination, 
I'd like you to imagine a yellow light coming up from the earth and starting to wrap around the fuse. And this light is warm, soothing, and relaxing, and it is relaxing every single cell in your fuse. This light continues to wrap around the calves, twisting, kind of like a figure eight, around the knees and thighs, warming, soothing, and relaxing every single cell in our legs. And this light continues around the core and the chest and the heart. Wrapping around, twisting. And this light is warm, soothing, and relaxing. Every single cell. And this light continues around the shoulders and the arms, all the way down to the fingertips. Soothing, relaxing, and warming every single cell in our arms. And this light continues to wrap around the head, the face, all the way around the crown. Soothing. Relaxing and warming every single cell. And let's bring that relaxed awareness to the center of our forehead. Know that you're at the control panels for your life. And you can come here at any time. start to deepen that breath. Inviting some gentle movements in the fingertips and the toes. Making some circles with the wrist and the ankles. And reaching the hands all the way above the head for a full body stretch from the tips of the toes all the way to the fingertips. And then finding your way over to your favorite side using your bottom arm as a pillow and the knees tucked in towards the chest. And we'll take a few moments for gratitude. Gratitude for this breath. Gratitude for each other. Gratitude for Mother Nature. Gratitude that we took a few moments to take care of ourselves. And then using that top arm to push yourself up back into a seat if you'd like to join me in that easy seat with your hands together at your heart thumbs pressed against your chest nice long tall spine shoulders relaxed taking a few deep breaths and the work we've done today is the inner work the important work in my opinion it helps raise our vibration 
And as we go through our day, we may come in contact with others that are not vibrating as high as us. Let's help them come to our vibration. Let's lift them up and not go down to their vibration. And we can go through this day lighthearted, carefree, knowing all is well. Namaste.